Hello everyone and welcome back to Driven Mad. Now in today's video, got an exciting one, new package for the Abarth. As you can see, look in there, we've got a speaker upgrade. I think this is gonna be the first ever speaker upgrade I've done to a car. So I've bought a kit on eBay, which I'll try and remember to link down below, uh, which comes with the right adapters for the front doors and the correct adapters for the back speakers. So there's six speakers in the car. I'm not gonna replace the tweeters, but I'm gonna do the doors, the rear panels here, and I'm also gonna do there's a subwoofer under the seat, which the speaker is yet to arrive. But we'll crack on today and get these in. I've chosen, let's pop them down, they're the same. I've gone for these Alpine speakers, here you go. There they are. Now, these should be a nice little upgrade as in this car, we've got some paper speakers in the back and one of them's blown in the passenger door. So it certainly is in need of an upgrade. And what we're gonna do is drill out the rivets and hopefully this has got the right cabling adapters. So let's hop inside and get those speakers out. Right, now moving into the back of the car, you can see I've got the panels out. So to get these out, you just have to unbolt the seat belt and the front and the back ones, which are two bolts there, there, there and at the bottom there's a little clip which you put a flathead screwdriver in, twist, and that pops off. And then there's a few bolts holding the trim in and then you just clip it off and it's actually quite easy. Now, it's got some rivets. This one you can see has actually been uh, touched before. It's cut the holes in it. So I'm gonna just drill out these rivets and get this horrible old speaker out. There's one. There's the second one off. And there is the third one. Let's pull that off. Wow, that speaker weighs absolutely nothing. So there's a little connector on the back, which appears to just be a push down and pull. There we are. Now that speaker weighs about as much as a pancake. That is rubbish. So what we'll do is we will see how to get the new one in. Okay, so here's our adapter. Now, what I've done is put on, we've got this equivalent of Dyna mat to insulate the car, which will be a future video. And I've decided to cut that out and put it on the back because it gives it a nice weight and it should also deaden the sound really nicely. So there'll be no rattling when this is uh, put to the metal. So the kit with the speakers comes with the screws that screws through here. And first we're gonna rivet this to the car. So you can see we've got three existing holes and we're gonna line them up like so. See, like this. And what I'm gonna do is just waz a few rivets in. Now, I recommend if you haven't got a riveter, they're not that expensive, look, you can see here's the riveter and they're the rivets. This gives it a nice clean look and also you don't risk having to obviously put self-tapping screws in or anything like that, which I just don't think looks great. So that goes in and then we will get it ready. So I'm gonna start off at the top one and it goes through like that. So we'll pop that in like so. And then you give it a couple of pumps. There's one. And then it should break. There we go. And that is certainly not going anywhere. Now it only mounts with the three. The stock one on the other side only has three mounts as well. A uh, bit of a weird design, but who knows. Right now inside the kit, it comes with these little pieces that clip on and then you screw through them with the screws supplied in the kit. Um, so what we're gonna do is pop these on and then screw the buggers in. Right then, so you join me a few minutes later after I've tested this piece. Now, the reason I've done that is because the connector wasn't actually the correct one. So if you're buying this kit, uh, I highly recommend you check the connectors first. I couldn't, because obviously this was all done and I'd ordered them on the basis that it said it was the correct kit when it's not. So what I'm gonna do is improvise. I'm not gonna cut this connector off just in case I ever put standard speakers back in. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I've taken off the wrong size adapter and I've put on two plugs and I'm gonna just basically splice into these two and uh, join these on like so. 
hoping that I'll do the trick. So you can see here, I've got these little crimping pieces that basically go around the wire like so, and that just pushes in, shut, and then you get a pair of pliers and it goes through the wire and then you can steal its power. All right, there's number one, there's number two, and now I've got to line up the holes that I've drilled. So they should be these big independent holes there. Right, so that speaker's now in place, looking very nice. I like that Alpine sign on there. I think that looks very good. And it's a lot softer than the other one, so uh, let's hope the better. Right then, it's now the next day. I've put the interior back in, so it's all back together now and the back speakers are in and working. So now it's time to move on to the front doors. Now, these plastic trims, on some Fiat 500s, there are two Phillips screws at the back of the door here, which you have to pop the covers off with a plastic pry tool. For some reason, my car doesn't have those. I'm guessing maybe a US model and a Europe model. I'm not entirely sure, but check yours just in case. There will be two little uh, round covers to pop off there if you have them, um, which I don't. So the two main sections for me are, there's a screw behind here and two screws behind this little cover. So a little pry tool in there, start in. It could be a little bit tricky there, there. There it goes. Little cover, leave that in there. That reveals two size 5 Allen keys, which I'll undo in a second. And this cover, there's a little pop-in bit at the top and on the side here. So I'm going to start at the top. There we go. So that reveals the screw hole there. And now it's time to just take them out. Okay, now using our plastic pry tool, I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm just going to work my way around popping the door card off. And then this part, if I can't get this out, which it seems I'm not going to be able to again, this can pop out, but on both sides now, I haven't been able to. So I'm just going to take out the three screws which hold the, the actual mechanism in place. That hopefully can just pop out like so. There we are. And that gets your door handle out. You can see this door's actually not been touched before because this is all still intact, which is nice to know. And what I've got to do is unplug this speaker. And here we go, there's the plug out. And that basically leaves us with just these three rivets to drill out. So we'll start with that. Now, one thing to uh, point out is the glass is now behind because I've put the window down. So I'm gonna put the window up, obviously just in case anything slips, which hopefully it won't, just in case I don't go through and hit the glass because that would be a massive pain. The drilling. Okay, now hopefully this speaker can just come off. There we are. And you can see that it's out. Now, it's quite a nice speaker. It's not very heavy. Um, and if I look at it, it doesn't look blown anywhere. I think it's the other side that might be blown, so we'll have to have a look at that. Now, you can just put the other speaker straight in. I have cut a hole in the bottom to get them through because I don't want to wedge the wires behind. Um, I've seen people crush them before, but I thought longevity wise, I don't really want to get the wires split. So 
I've just cut a little hole. There we go, speaker is now ready to be screwed in. So what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna move in front of the camera. And there we have it. Now, before I put it back together, I will just wrap something around here to stop that rattling. Um, but before I cover it all back up, let's give it a test. Right, that works. So what we're gonna do is get the wire there taped up and then start putting the door back together. Okay, so here's the subwoofer box. You can see it's just a piece of plastic. I've got the lid here. Um, so that just bolts together into a little box. And pretty much this is the size of the speaker. It's absolutely minuscule. Um, in my Mercedes, I had a 12 inch subwoofer and this is a five. So this is a massive, massive difference. But I've managed to get on Amazon, which actually got really good write-ups and it said it was a direct fit because there's actually nothing on these subwoofers. If you try looking them up, there's really not much on them. Um, no one's really upgraded them. And I found that this, obviously I had to take this apart and measure it and find the size. I found this company, who are they called? Claire, <laughs> or maybe Eau Claire, I don't know. Um, but this subwoofer was on Amazon. Now, if I get it out of the box, first off, straight off the bat, is that is solid almost I'd say double the weight of the original. Um, you can see the size of the magnet on the bottom there. They're not even comparable really. Um, and also this one has foam around the edge so it should, should sit really nicely and seal well where this one's got no foam. The only thing is I'm gonna have to snip the wires off this and wire in the new one. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get little clips that will just clip on to the new one because you can see here it's got like these little plugs here. So uh, I'm going to get on with that now and uh, I'll show you what I do. Right, so I'm going to snip these as close as I possibly can to get as much cable as possible because these don't uh, show which one's positive and negative, but uh, we'll have to see. The other one does. So snip them off. There is the old speaker out and I'm just going to get some wire strippers and strip down these now all of you speaker gurus out there do not judge me for this this is the first time I've ever done any sound system or anything like this so if I'm doing it wrong let me know down in the comments below but uh, don't insult me, I'm, try I'm trying my best. Right, so there's all of our connectors done. Now, what I'm gonna do is just head over to the car and plug this in and see if I can figure out which one is which. So I'm gonna put that on the positive because there's a big red dot. This one is a bit big, but it for some reason grips really, really well. So that's on the negative. And then what we're going to do is the exact same on this one. But I don't know which one the positive and negative is for this terminal. So we'll head over to the car, plug this in and just see what we can get. Okay, well that's good. It's working. <laughs> right, so I've got... Uh, the screws for the subwoofer here. What I'm gonna do is just get that on best I can, roughly in position. The foam is gonna make quite a big difference, I think. So if I can get one. The magnet on this is so strong. It's pulling my screws away from. Right. 
Right, let's go get it in the car. Right, so there's just three size 10 bolts like this. You see? One at the back there that goes down to the floor and two that face backwards on the front of the sub. So I'm just going to do the first two because they line it up. And now it's time to give it a little test. So what I'm going to do is sit inside the car, play some non-copyright music. YouTube, this is non-copyright. Don't copyright strike me again. They copyright strike me all the time, even though I use music that one, I'm allowed to use, and two, is non-copyright. So I get copyrighted on everything. So I'm going to play non-copyright, and I'm going to put the microphone in the centre of the car, and hopefully it picks up relatively good quality. I know it's not going to be fantastic, but just for my own amusement, I'm going to do it. So some of you might enjoy this. Let's see. Okay, so that sums up the video. Now, this sound system cost me, it was 110 euros for the four Alpine speakers front and rear, plus delivery was seven, so let's round it up, 120. And the subwoofer was 60 with 10 deliveries. This has absolutely transformed the car. And if anyone's thinking whether to do this or not, if you're not looking for absolute, like that full, deep bass that will vibrate your soul. Um, if you just want really high quality, clean audio, that sounds really, really nice. And the subwoofer is way, way more bassy than it has any right to be. Um, I suppose it's because it's right next to me as well, so it really does sound really good. And yeah, I mean, for the price, I think this is a really, really good install. The only thing I didn't do was the tweeters, but I don't think personally they need it. Uh, Alpine, there is a kit on eBay, the same as mine that has the tweeters included. So if you want to do that, you can, but I didn't think it was necessary. The subwoofer is the major difference. That thing sounds insane. Uh, it, it's way better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to now be not only hearing my lovely exhaust, but also I'm going to have really, really good high quality sound. But I've spoken way too much and I will catch you in the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Well,